So there are basically two ways to win in business, you might say, or in marketing. Let's be more specific. One way is to win by being more attractive, more clever, uh, more credible looking, more persuasive. And I'll just call this the external way of winning. And yet, many of us don't feel fulfilled competing with that kind of, in that kind of way. Because there will always be somebody, no matter how attractive you are, or how clever you are, no matter how great your ideas are, there will always be others who have better ideas than you, who are more attractive than you, who are more credible than you. And so it's a losing game, essentially. It's a finite game because you win sometimes, you lose sometimes, and in my opinion, it's not really connected to our life's deeper purpose, shall I say. So the second way of winning in marketing is to care more for our audience than others are willing to care. Now, I know a lot of you are already working very hard. You already care so much. So I don't mean that you have to do even more, but what I'm saying is you have to demonstrate your care for your audience. And the way we do that is, well, one, we demonstrate our care through our content. I mean, I don't show up you know, making these videos. Some of you are watching this on Instagram Live right now. That's how I record. Uh, others are watching it elsewhere. But I, I've said this before and I'll remind you, I never feel like starting these videos. I'm not going, gosh, I can't wait to start recording myself, talking, you know, on screen and, and trying to be helpful and sound, you know, smart enough. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't, want, I don't want to do this. But I show up regularly because, because I care. I care that my audience, you, can hopefully be inspired and grow in ways that I believe is good for everybody. And I care also about my own creativity fitness. So I have a schedule that, you know, no matter what, Friday afternoon, I'm, I'm going to press go live, no matter if I feel ready or not, or I, I'm afraid. I never feel ready, by the way. You know, I can always be studying and working more and more on my ideas. So, but I'm here anyway. I just press go live and record it and then I'll just upload it elsewhere later. And, but I care enough to show up. It makes me feel fulfilled knowing that it might make a difference for one person what I'm saying one day. If not now, if nobody's watching, it, one day someone will see it and I'm thinking about that person and, and sending my love and care to that person, to you who is watching. So we care for, we demonstrate our care through our content, consistency, and also through the, the heartfelt presence of our content. However that looks to you, you don't have to look like the same way I look, but however you show up with authentic, uh, caring for your audience, do that on a consistent basis and they will see it, they will feel it. Number one, that's how we demonstrate care content. Number two, we demonstrate care by having conversations with them. What I mean is you have some people who follow you on Instagram or uh, in your newsletter, email newsletter or you know elsewhere, YouTube, LinkedIn, whatever. Try to have as many conversations with them as you possibly can. In the first couple years of my business, I was doing at least two to four conversations every month, one-to-one -one conversations with my audience, whoever I can find who is willing to talk with me. Okay, starting with my friends and then, you know, people who don't know me as well, but I reach out to them. And actually, there were some months where I was doing two to three such conversations per week. I try to have as I try to have as many one-to-one -one conversations as I could with my audience to demonstrate my care. Not trying to sell them anything, not trying to pitch my services, but genuinely interested in what they want 
and what their life is about and kind of what they're working on these days and what they're looking for, what kinds of resources might be helpful for them, whether it's my thing or not. It could be something else I know or somebody else that I can refer to them. So the more such conversations you have, the more you hone your intuition about how to do excellent marketing to your audience. We call this market research, but that's such a dry term. I'm going to just reframe it as caring for your audience. That's it through one to one conversations. And eventually, as my audience grew, I started doing more group conversations for this kind of market research. And um, so it kind of goes from there. But when people talk with you, they feel your care, you get to know their mindset and their heart set. And not, not surprisingly, guess what? You're going to get more referrals. Even when you weren't trying to sell anything, you'll still get more referrals. And you've honed your intuition so your marketing is even better. And so I guess that's all I want to say for now. We are playing with this method. We are playing an infinite game. It's not the finite game. And I want to thank Simon Sinek for this idea of finite versus infinite games, right? We are not playing the finite game of trying to be more attractive, more persuasive, more clever, better ideas than the next person. That's exhausting. And, and ultimately, when you play the infinite game of caring more for your audience than, or demonstrating your care more for the audience than others are willing to, you naturally become more attractive, smarter, you know, more connected to what the audience really wants and therefore more, re re more relevant and more resonant towards them. So I hope this is helpful. That's, that's the world I dream of is those of us who are creators are, are, not, are not competing with each other with that kind of more followers, more attractive. What, no, we're, we, we're playing an infinite game where all of us can win, each of us caring as much as we possibly can for our audience and therefore everybody wins. Our audience wins, our business wins, and our souls win. And our industry wins as well. So thanks for watching. Thank you for being here as part of my caring enough to watch this. I appreciate you. I'll see you in the next video.